It's what the flick, everybody. Bad Mankiewicz, Christy Lemire, Alonzo Duraldi, Matt Atchity. Uh, the, uh, Michael Bay has done uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I never saw one episode of the television show. Me neither. And I, this is the fifth, fifth Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've never Turtles seen movie. one of the movies. What I the think, hell, dude? I think we're too old. And you, somebody made a reference about who did Nick like? You saw it with your son? Nick liked Michelangelo. Yeah, I barely even know that that's one of them. He's the, the orange one. Yeah, <laughs> so. He's Donna, the wise no, cracking orange one. Donatello is the All orange right. one. No, yeah. no, Michelangelo. No, Michael, no Donatello is purple. Is purple and nerdy. Don, because I has got because I had a, I had a grape crush at the premiere and it said Donnie on the can. Donatello is the purple. Leonardo's one. blue and Le Raphael is red. Red. Yeah. I swear to God, Michelangelo's orange. And Michelangelo is a party. Nick dude. liked that one. Okay, I can't believe we're even talking about <laughs> this. I'm traveling. I didn't uh, I didn't see it, uh, so I, my streak uh, continues. Hey, I was just saying, you it's remain yeah. turtle free. Yeah. Uh, I, however, saw it. Okay, so yeah, it's the Ninja Turtles rebooted again. Um, Michael Bay produced it. It's directed by the guy who made Battle Los Angeles. Take that for what it's worth. And Megan Fox is investigative reporter April O'Neil. Actually, she's a TV reporter who wants to be an investigative reporter. And so she decides to investigate all the mysterious Foot, Cl foot Clan crimes in New York City, uh, stumbling eventually upon the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, with whom it turns out in this version of the story, she has a uh, long standing connection. Take a look. Crime, violence, and fear have run rampant. Our great city is being destroyed. People want justice restored to this world. People want heroes, Ms. O'Neill. But heroes are not born. They're created. That's what your father and I were trying to do. Create heroes. Johnny! Better up! Woo! I'm a snapping turtle, fool! What kind of thing you used to say when we were kids? I've been holding it in for years. Guys, as comic book people or whatever, no. no? Do, or do you have? I had a little turtle lore. I remember. <laughs> th I remember the black and white comic book in the '80s. I watched some of the cartoon episodes, even though I, it was after I'd graduated from college, but I was still watching them. Um, and I saw the first movie with the Jim Henson like puppety, you know, uh, costume things. So I, I'm not. I didn't have a stake in this, but I at least <laughs> was familiar with the territory. You know, what about you? Yeah. The turtles started out as this comic that spoofs Daredevil and specifically does a lot of spoofing of Frank Miller. Yeah. And what Mil and Miller's like dark art and and kind of the dark stories he was writing. And that's kind of cool, but the cartoon is a kid show, right? And so people grow up on this like it's some amazing kid show. But they Whatever. Don't have the origins of what right? It's meant I mean, to be. there's gonna be people out there who are mad that I got Donatello wrong. Nobody cares. <laughs> right? I mean, nobody gives a shit. It's as this franchise has continued, it just continues to be watered down, and there's these characters don't mean anything anymore. And and uh, you know, you get to a movie like this, where honestly, like, it's kind of boring. Well, each guy you know, has his own note, right? This is our city. <laughs> Look, he's doing his Batman voice. Oh, chill. Don't freak out. Right? So Michelangelo is always wisecracking, and, and um, Donatello is always nerdy, and Leonardo is the, the strong leader, and yeah, Raphael is always angry and roided out. They, they, yeah, they basically, like, if you know the theme song to the cartoon, you know what these four characters are, and they will be that for the whole time. And yes, it's a kids' movie, although it's a PG-13 really kids' violent. movie. It's, it's pretty really violent. violent. And uh, it, it, as somebody pointed out, it's another movie that ends on the top of a skyscraper with a flashing red counter countdown clock and people hanging off of scaffolding. <laughs> it's essentially a Transformers movie. I mean, like the Michael Bay in Premature. Oh, yeah, yeah. And one, and one of the reviews on, on 
Rotten Tomatoes, and I think, I don't know if it's Grierson, I can't remember who said it, but said basically, like you could replace all these characters with Transformers and nobody would really know the difference. Well, there's one character, the bad guy looks like Megatron, right? I don't know, Shredder, right, mm. is essentially Japanese Megatron, you know? And when he, when he came out, Nick goes to me, why is Megatron in this movie? Like, that's a really good question. Because he's big and silver and shiny and mean and talks in a deep voice. Weirdly enough, I kind of like the early parts before the turtles show up. Like, yeah. I, I was kind of buying Megan Fox as a TV reporter and her, like, dogged pursuit of the story. And I was like, okay, so we're kind she, of she maybe... Never, she'd never make it as a TV reporter. Uh, in New well, York, market one. Oh, no, I'm saying. She, <laughs> by the way, she'd get job after job after job after job. They wanted to yeah. put her on trampolines yeah. doing, like, fitness yeah. segments. Exactly. And she wants to be out no, looking I, for I, bad I, guys. I, I thought, okay, so we're kind of taking this seriously. Like, the, there seemed to be sort of a, a kind of a, not a dark tinge, but like, the, like it was very kind of our recognizable world. It wasn't sort of a cartoony thing. And then the turtles show up, and it's kind of like, oh, Okay, it's going to be this. Although, then they they are not pleasant to look at. I don't think. I mean, even compared to like the 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 the, the weird puppet costumes of the '90s, like they were just they like in my review, I said they they all look like they were made out of clay and they got kilned at different times. You know? Wasn't yeah. there a thing with Megan Fox and Michael Bay? Yes, this yes. Is like his make good. To right. Her. Yeah. All is yeah. forgiven apparently. So they, yeah. everything's okay. Um, I can, if by she forgiven, she has to appear in this movie. Well, yeah. Uh, um, but, but she's the hero. And, and then, and then <laughs> she gets to be smart. And then when I, when I realized it was gonna, it was going completely into Looney Town was when she then tries to pitch the story at her TV station and her grumpy boss, played by Whoopi Goldberg, because in a Michael Bay movie, an Oscar winner always has to embarrass themselves. <laughs> uh, you know, like has this conniption. I'm like, oh, okay. And it just, and just as it went along, I just got less and less interested, and it just felt more and more formulaic. And yeah, the turtles aren't. Even within their li their limited kind of, you know, this is the wacky one, and this is the the tech guy, and this is the jerk or whatever. They weren't interesting. They didn't pop. Even in that scene though, where Megan Fox is trying to explain what she has seen, it seems to have some inherent recognition of its own absurdity. Sure. Right? Like it, know it's dumb and it knows it's dumb and it's weird and it knows it's weird. But then you're right. It begins to take itself very seriously. Like it makes this shift. Like now we're a serious action movie and these are serious heroes. And yeah. can you have it both ways? And, I don't but, know. And, but, and we're not. But they're not interesting. Like I, I remember when we there there have been a couple movies. I think Guardians most recently where I said all right. Uh, these characters are interesting enough that now that we've got all that origin movie out of the way, I can't wait to see what a sequel is going to be. I don't want to see a sequel to this because I don't want to see those turtles again because they're not interesting. Not that right. this version of the turtles. The characters don't do anything interesting, and that's that's I think the point. You know, I agree with your point in that. You know, we'll see superhero movies and comic book movies where what the character represents or what the character embodies or the main personality trait becomes some kind of problem and. Anytime they try and make it into a problem, it's not earned. There's this big moment where one of the characters talks about how he really feels. And you just don't care because <laughs> there's not been anything that really leads up to that. Mm. It's not really an earned moment. No. And, and it's only there just because, you know, again, if you come into this completely cold having never watched any of this, Me, yeah. right, mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing there. I mean, sure, if you've watched every episode of the cartoon, you might kind of dig this. But even then, I don't think you will. Like, the cartoon... Three hours of the cartoon is better than this. <laughs> right, and they, you speak about the characters not being any, anything interesting. William Fickner shows up. You know he's going to be a bad guy. He's yeah. always William Fickner. He's always a bad guy. So even though he seems like a, like a good guy in the beginning, you know he's going to have some dastardly plan. And what it is is so generic action movie bad guy yeah, in terms it's, of its plotting and its well, nefariousness. And, and, you know, we keep talking about this being a Michael Bay film. This is a Michael Bay production. He didn't direct it. Yeah, it's right. directed by Jonathan Liebsman. Right. Which might be worse, right? I mean, <laughs> I didn't hate uh, Battle Los Angeles. I, Battle Los Angeles. I did hate Wrath of the Titans. Though. Wrath of the Titans is terrible. Uh, you know that that Tooth Fairy movie he did is god awful. One of his first features. Okay. Uh, oh, I missed it. But even like the lighting looks like a big shiny Michael Bay movie. It may as well be. Yeah, I mean he's a hired yeah. gun coming in to do a yeah. Michael Bay production, and I it, there's just there's nothing here to this. I mean, the only thing that has that this has going for it over Transformers. Is that it's less than two hours? It's like shorter, it's right? An hour and forty-one, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, so, um, Shia's so on the new Transformers. Right. So yeah. Gabe didn't want to see it. No, my ten-year-old had no desire. In fact, he was laughing at me for having to go see this. And he would <laughs> be your target audience, it yeah. seems, right? Yeah. Nick wanted to see it. Nick's almost five, but he and he watched it. He was into it, but I don't think he loved it the way he loves the turtles. Stuff. Is there any Darwinian connection to the turtles? <laughs> is there? A, is there? There's no evolutionary strain evolve. to the mutant ninja turtles. They, because so. they, they're little turtles that are. Um, 
they're scientifically research projects. So these are not Galapagos projects. turtles? No, 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 no. but, but they're scientific clear. research projects yes. that, that run amok. Oh, right. There is no ooze in this version and no vanilla ice, just in case oh, you're I wish keeping vanilla keeping ice. track at home. All right, so our numbers How are... How sad is it that we think vanilla ice would improve? He would. This would be better, yeah. Right? More kitsch factor. So your number, Matt Atchity? Uh, what did I say? He three? said three. Uh, 3.3. I said three also, so our average of 3.1 is 24% yes. on the tomato meter. This movie is terrible. <laughs> yeah, if we could say go see Transformers instead, this is when you know you are in bad shape. No, yeah. don't oh, I'm not saying that either. <laughs> 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 go no. see Guardians of the Galaxy That's again. That's true. Because yeah. they have creatures that look more believable than this. Yes. yes. The, <laughs> yeah, tree. The, the tree and the raccoon are way more plausible than the turtles. Bye.